This video shows you how to set up the Omnicare Master Console so that it can be activated by the fire panel. Communication with disabled refuse remotes will only take place if the Omnicare system is either overridden by a test break glass device or by the fire detection system. The system will need to be connected to a fire detection system to allow this feature. To enable this feature, you will require the Master Control Panel Key, Medium Posi Drive Screwdriver, Terminal Screwdriver, and Wire Cutters. Before the final commissioning process and initial power up, open the control door and remove the two screws that hold the internal door. This will give you access to the rear mounted termination PCB to enable you to make the necessary connections. There are three scenarios for connecting the fire detection system. These are A, when the fire panel has a dedicated sounder circuit to the Omnicare control panel, B is when the fire panel has a sounder circuit that is connected to sounders as well as the control panel, C is where there is a closing pair feed from a fire panel module. For scenario A, you will need to connect an end-of-line resistor to the two end-of-line connectors as shown. Please note that the value of this resistor is dependent on the fire panel. It is now necessary to connect the positive and negative conductors from the fire panel, as shown here. Please note that this board is housed in different locations for 4-32, 48 to 64 and 80 to 128 way panels. For scenario B, you will need to connect to the two end of line connectors as shown and connect the positive and negative conductors from the fire panel as shown here. For scenario C, you will take the closing pair from the fire panel module and connect into 0 volts and test as shown here. Please note that this board is housed in different locations for 4 to 32, 48 to 64 and 80 to 128 way panels. Once the connections have been made and the system is fully commissioned, please see separate video for the commissioning procedure. The disabled refuge remotes will be non-active at all times until either the test break glass or the fire panel activates the system. If a user were to try and operate a disabled refuse remote whilst in its dormant state, they will hear a system in standby message being broadcast by the disabled refuse remote.